The Center for Water Efficient Landscaping was created in 1999 in cooperation with the state of Utah's legislature. The goal was to reduce outdoor water use and irrigation of amenity landscapes. Since the early 90s, there's been a steady decline in indoor water use. But when you move outside the home, things get significantly more challenging. We are the second driest state in the nation in terms of precipitation. We also have some of the higher per capita water use rates in the country. One of the efforts that's being made in the state right now is a media campaign called Slow the Flow, and that's being driven by the Division of Water Resources, as well as a number of the Water Conservancy districts. And one of the main goals of that program is to create a conservation ethic in the state of Utah. We're interested in water conservation in basically all of the communities of the state. What kinds of plants should we use? We don't necessarily subscribe to the idea that a landscape should be entirely native. Design is fundamental and you can arrange plants, uh, particularly at lower density, where they use less water. There's common ground between visual traits that allows a plant to survive in a desert that are oftentimes very aesthetically pleasing too. Our goal is not to see how much plant we can produce, but see if we can attain our quality of life or the aesthetic values that we desire. You can look at any town along the Wasatch Front and see a sea change in the number of low water use landscapes. How do we get people to interact with their landscape and their irrigation system so that they're being efficient? We really look at both how they understand and how they perceive their landscapes, and then the behaviors and actions and decisions that they take in relation to maintaining them. We take the information that's made available through the university and take it out to consumers and the general public. It's a lot of moving parts. So we can help filter that down and given the specific goals of the end user, help them make informed choices that serve society at large. We're in an era where water has been over allocated and we're in the process of reallocating that water. I guess in a lot of ways, kind of identifying what it is people really want out of the landscape and then coming up with the best fit for that with a very strong emphasis on water conservation. Water maps developed in a research environment. It's been used as a research tool, a management tool, and a public information tool. And we developed this technique to identify relative efficiencies of different users so that we could explain their behaviors in relation to that use. To really affect change among people, they need to be able to see it, to reflect on it, to have it be timely, and to have it be in tune with the decisions that they need to make. People in Utah are very well-meaning, and when it's brought to their attention that they have the capacity to conserve water without sacrificing their landscapes and maintaining the aesthetic qualities, they are more than willing to do so.